Hi everyone. It's Tuesday, October 20th, and that means you only have today and tomorrow to sign up for the Seniors uh, Food for Thought event at the Kitchener site, 19 Ottawa Street North in Kitchener. We'd love to have you there in person. If you feel safe to do so, we are taking all precautions in order to make sure that you are safe. You're welcome to come and sign up, either sign up online or you can call the office to sign up that way as well. Or if you'd rather just stay at home, we will be broadcasting it on Facebook Live at the same time. We are going to be having Barnabas Missions together with us, and just sharing what they've done in the past and also what they're doing now that COVID has made pretty much everything topsy-turvy. So I hope you'll be able to join us for that day, the 22nd. That's just in two days' time. All right. Today I'm going to finish off our little segment in Romans chapter 12 that we've been sort of sort of sitting on for the last uh, week or so by finishing off with uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 12 and 13. And this is what it says. Rejoice in our confident hope. Be patient in trouble and keep on praying. When God's people are in need, be ready to help them. Always be eager to practice hospitality. There's a lot of really good things in those two relatively short verses. Let me just focus on a few of them. Rejoice in our confident hope and be patient in trouble. Keep on praying is verse 12. I can honestly say that this is a time um, in our existence through these last seven months that we've been with COVID that we need to encourage each other to continue to rejoice because our hope is not in the situation we find ourselves in. Our hope is in the Lord who knows that we're going through this trouble and these troubling times and is there to walk with us through this particular time. So be patient in trouble and keep on praying. Always a good thing to do to exercise patience. And I know when this started off seven months ago and I was sort of thinking, well, you know, a couple of weeks and then by, by Easter we'll be back together again and everything will be normal. Well, that certainly proved that I am not a prophet. We continue to have these challenges, but by and large, we have continued to see God spare us, God save us, God protect us. We've been protected significantly in Waterloo Region from having a huge outbreak. And for that, we can be, again, we can be people who rejoice in that. Verse 13 says, when God's people are in need, be ready to help them. Always be eager to practice hospitality. Those are, again, very, very good words. We live in a, a time where we have a lot of people that have needs and are sometimes they're afraid to ask because they've never been in that position to have to ask before. So make sure that you keep your ears open to hear what's going on around and be ready to step in and help wherever you can. WMB's youth group is doing things differently this fall. They're not having mass meetings. In fact, they're meeting with small groups. And they've got, I think, 12 or 13 small groups that really want to be about offering um, aspects of, of help and hospitality and encouragement wherever they can, especially for our seniors. And so if you have any needs, whether it's raking leaves or whether it's maybe you need your snow, uh, snow tires changed on your car, and you know how to do that. But you know what? There are some young people who have never had that opportunity to change snow tires. Here would be a great opportunity to invite a couple over. They can do the, the bulk of the work, and you help them understand how to do that. What a great opportunity to help each other and carry on conversations as we do this activity. It might be putting away your lawn lawn equipment or putting a cover on your umbrella and your, your lawn chairs or your air conditioner unit, whatever it happens to be. There are young people that would love to be engaged with you. I sent out a letter yesterday. I hope you got that. If not, just this is just a nice reminder to um, get engaged with what the youth are doing. And there are other ways that we can also get engaged that don't have to do with physical activity. If you're someone who loves to encourage people through writing letters of encouragement or prayers, uh, the youth would love to have a, a senior or a couple 
um, gather together some cards or perhaps letters and just write a few comments or encouragements to the, the, the youth small group or some passages of scripture that are special for you or something about what happened when you were in youth that would, might be interesting or encouraging for them. And you can send that to them or you can give it to me and I'll hand it on to Brad to give on to the, um, to the, the youth small groups. And they in turn will write something back to you. And it'll be sort of like the old days when we had pen pals. But if you'd be interested in doing something like that, that would be another way that you could offer helpful encouragement to our youth. And they, in turn, could be an encouragement for you. So these are some of the ideas that come out of these passages of Scripture that we've been looking at. And it's a way to offer hospitality and to be hospitable in a time where we can't do what we used to do. And that is open up our doors and invite lots of people in to sit around our table and eat. I hope you're encouraged by what we've learned from uh, Romans chapter 12 in these verses that we've been looking at over this last week. And I hope that uh, you'll take the opportunity to figure out ways that you can engage with our youth and help them to discover what it means to be a believer who has followed Christ for a long, long time, to encourage them in that way and, and so that you can offer them opportunities to grow in their discipleship in their small groups. God bless you. Praying for you.